In this section, we're going to split it into two parts. The first part, we're going to talk about something we need to examine, something called Bayes' theorem. Um, this was developed by a mathematician from England by the name of Thomas Bayes, and it's for dealing with fairly complex probability, and it's one of the foundations in um, artificial intelligence. If you ever venture down that line of computer science, you will use Bayes' theorem quite a bit and quite in depth. So we have to talk about this thing called total probability. We have a Venn diagram here. We have event A, and sometimes event B happens, and sometimes B doesn't happen. These are called hypotheses. And event A, the probability of event A, can be thought of as the probability of A intersect event B, so this part, union with A intersect not B. And we can rewrite that as the probability of B times the probability of A given B plus the probability of not B times the probability that A occurs given that B doesn't. So this is our total probability formula. It gives us all the different ways that or gives us the total probability of A happening, taking in consideration that B might happen or it might not happen. So we don't know which case it is here. And we're going to look at a computer factory manufacturing computer mice. It's checked by one of two controllers. The first controller checks 55% of the mice, finds 4% to be defective. The second finds that 3% of his mice are defective. What is the probability that a mouse will be found to be defective by the controllers? The first thing we should do is define our variables. F is that the first controller is checking. S is the second controller checking. D is the would be the mouse being defective. Create a tree diagram right now for this problem. Let's see how well you understand tree diagrams. So pause the video and do that. Okay, so let's see if yours agrees with mine. We have the first controller, second controller, and then once we decide on first controller versus second, the mouse is either defective or not defective. Defective or not defective. And we should have the branches labeled as such. So now we use our total probability formula to find the probability that the, a mouse is defective. We don't know who checked it. We don't know if it was the first controller or the second controller, but we are interested in whether or not a mouse will be defective. Our total probability formula says this. The probability of a defect will be the probability of the first one times the probability that it's defective given that it's the first controller, plus the probability that it's the second, times the probability that it's defective given the second. It's just the sum of these two sets of branches, and that probability calculation ends up being 0 0.0355. Now, Bayes' theorem and this total probability can be extended to many more hypotheses. Um, we'll look at three hypotheses. So our universal set is split into three separate regions, hypothesis one, two, and three. And the probability of A occurs sometimes when H1 is happening, sometimes when H2 happens, and sometimes when H3 happens. So H1, H2, and H3 are all disjoint, and their union is the universal set. So the probability of A occurring can be given with this set notation or using our conditional probability formula, we have this. The vast majority of everything that we're ever going to need to do throughout this course is going to be restricted to two hypotheses, not three. As you can see, this formula gets bigger quickly the more different possible hypotheses could be happening. So 
New example, we have two jars. They contain green and purple marbles. So here's jar one and here's jar two. In jar A, we have four green and six purple. And in jar B, we have one green, two purple. And we transfer two marbles from jar A to jar B. So we take one marble and then a second marble and we put them from jar A into jar B. What's the probability now that we move two marbles into jar B, what's the probability that we draw a green marble? Well, this calculation is a total probability situation where we actually have three hypotheses. Um, we'll look at what these three hypotheses are right here. So the probability of hypothesis one, well hypothesis one might be that we take two green. Or the other thing that could happen is we could have one green, one purple, or we could have two purple. Those are the three events that could happen back here when we're transferring marbles from jar A into jar B. It could be two green, could be one of each, or it could be two purple. We don't know. That's the thing. So we can find our probability of picking a green by using this total probability formula. But before we can use it, as you can see, we need to know the probability of all these different hypotheses. So let's go ahead and calculate that. The probability of hypothesis 1 would be 4 choose 2 divided by 10 choose 2. So why 4 choose 2? Well, there were 4 green marbles in that first jar. And 10 choose 2 on the bottom because there are 10 total marbles and I want to choose 2 of them. This probability ends up being 2 over 15. Give hypothesis 2 a try right now. Try and use the same sort of notation as here and find a probability for this. And if you're feeling bold, for hypothesis 3 also. So this one has 4 times 6 on the top. That's really 4 choose 1 and 6 choose 1 because we're choosing 1 green and 1 purple. 10 choose 2 still on the bottom. Our probability is 8 fifteenths. And then the probability of hypothesis 3, 6 choose 2 divided by 10 choose 2, or a probability of 1 third. And we can put those onto a tree diagram right now. There we go. Now to label the next set of branches, we have to look at what's happening in each jar. So if I go back here, we started with one green and two purple. In our tree, it now shows what the makeup is in that jar so that we can easily fill in these probabilities. So now from that jar, what is the probability of picking a green? Three-fifths. What's the probability of a purple? Two-fifths. Hypothesis two was transferring one of each, so now we have two green, three purple. Probability of a green is two-fifths, purple is three-fifths. And hypothesis three was transferring two purple marbles. Here we're looking at a makeup of one green, four purple, so one-fifth and four-fifths. And now we have all the information that we need to find our total probability. Realize that this probability is the probability of green given that hypothesis 1 has occurred. This would be the probability of purple, purple given hypothesis 1. So let's go back to our total probability formula and see if you can't plug in the correct values to this expansion.
we should have 2 fifteenths 2 fifteenths times 3 fifths plus 8 fifteenths times 2 fifths plus 1 third times 1 fifth for a total probability of picking a green marble of 9 twenty fifths. So that's where this first video stops. In the next video, we're going to use this to look at Bayes' probability formula, Bayes' theorem.